Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart today, going over the absolute must need to know important levels. And as always, I'll be giving you this information in a very concise and professional manner. Okay, so of course you are here for the technical analysis and because I am good at winning trades. So I'm going to give you now the technical analysis and the next levels I'm looking at to be winning those trades. Uh, so yeah, let's just go into the charts and start off where I left off my last last video which seems like a long time since I've done a YouTube video. Uh, but I was, of course, in that video talking about my short position on Bitcoin, why I shorted $24,000. And of course, after that short from $24,000, we had a pullback, we had a retest of the level where we had the ES coming up into resistance, DXY coming into support. And at the same time, Bitcoin with very big bearish divergences gave us this really nice high probability short position on Bitcoin. And I was explaining that in my last video, why I was in that short. Well, from there, we can saf safely say it has played out very well with a continued move to the downside, going from $24,000 to coming down to the low here early morning to around $22,300. So we've seen a very nice, in terms of percentage move, a very high, nice, profitable short trade play out here. I still hold that short trade, by the way. I've not closed it fully, and that's because, um, you know, for me, I've not hit my bigger targets yet. So it's as simple as that. So, of course, we've now seen this, like, quite a nice move to the downside, right? We've essentially rotated the whole of the range low. So we've gone from range low to range high, from range low to deviate the range, higher the range, back down to around that range low. Of course, we haven't taken out the overall low yet. That would give us our move to around $22,122,000, right? If we get our deviation of the range low, just as we got our deviation of the range high to $24,200. So for me, the down the downwards levels are still in play of around that 22,000 zone to around 22,100, right? From here, we have our potential deviation of range low. Well, I've been talking about this in the last video. We can still look for that swing fair pattern or, or failed auction off the low, right? Uh, and if we lose that, then of course, we look down to much lower levels in the charts. Okay, but for level level to level environment, right? Until we lose that, well, we don't look towards this yet. And so for me, that's simple. It's very, very simple. We Got our nice rise to the upside where I was extremely, extremely bullish during this section of the chart. We obviously front run our naked point of control on the weekly here. And I was very bullish, very much only in longs, no short positions, remaining patient for above 24K. We eventually hit above 24K. We got a perfect retest with the bearish divergences and the correlated markets of the DXY and stock market coming into play. That is an executable short position every day of the week for somebody that understands what they're doing in trading. And then from here, we've seen it play out very nicely indeed. And as expected, a lovely full rotation back down to the range low. From here, we've obviously bounced down and around that range low. We haven't taken out the stops and liquidity yet. So that for me is a major point of interest below us. Okay, but for now, we're getting this bit, little bit of a bounce under the way where above us, we can see, well, of course, $23,000 psychological level, but we have this next daily above us there around 23,250, right? So for me, I'm going to say this, it does require a patience. <laughs> surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen, in trading, you do have to have this and it is a lot of patience. Uh, and so Bitcoin necessarily, not necessarily right now is providing a very good trade opportunity. So at this exact price, I would say there's not really a good trade on Bitcoin. I'd either have to wait lower for my lower liquidity levels or higher for a, a, a bigger bounce. Because right now I don't simply have a trade setup. I need to wait for one of my bigger levels to come into play next, okay? So of course, this is the brilliant thing, right? We have access to a lot of different altcoins, the stock market, the forex market, the commodities market. There's not just one asset that we have to trade, right? There's always other things to trade. And so right now, I personally believe there's a lot of opportunities in altcoins. You've probably seen some of the altcoins recently. It does this cycle, Bitcoin pumps, then we move to midcoin, altcoins, then we move to the small caps. And recently, we've seen these really nice altcoin moves. In specifically, and before somebody comments down below saying my English is rubbish, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, so let's just say that. Um, but yeah, of course, we've seen really nice moves recently. And specifically... <laughs> 
I'm just going to say lovely uh, of GRT. We've seen lovely GRT moves. This is of a target that I gave to my team uh, before it was was hit on the uh, GRT weekly target. This was from the time of posting to the target mean hit another 20% rise to the upside. So we're seeing, you know, GRT this week has done like 100%. You're seeing Matic moving really nicely. We've seen, we've seen basically a lot of altcoins with very high percentage really technical moves. Okay, today we're obviously seeing Link moving very nicely. A dot also, shoutable mention, I love trading dot. And so, you know, this is the thing, right? Bitcoin right now at this exact price, in my opinion, doesn't have a trade setup. But we have access to thousands of altcoins to be trading right now. So all we need to do is go across and look at the best opportunities of alts and take advantage of those opportunities, right? So this is what I like to do. If Bitcoin is moving a little bit slow, if I don't have a setup, I'll take a look at the stock market. I'll take a look at the forex. Well, not really the forex. That's that's. You know, I, I watch that, but I don't trade that. So I'll, I'll do my analysis on the Forex market at the very least. And then I'll either be trading the stock market or trading altcoins while I'm waiting on Bitcoin. OK, so that's the way that I approach this. OK, and for me, yeah, now it does require a little bit of patience for one of my next bigger levels to come into play, which I've explained. Right. And so I'd like to just do a little quick announcement here before I explain what I'm looking at then uh, in terms of the altcoins or the bigger bigger caps to be aware of. And that is uh, the first and maybe the most important announcement that I'd like to cover here really quickly. It's just to let you know, there are two new coaches added to Chart Champions. And the first is Rivalry, uh, who is from America. So as you can see here, posts coming out at 3.30 a.m. UK time, 4 a.m. UK time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're over on that West Coast, if you're over in the American, Japanese type of Asian time zone, well, this is pretty good news for you because yeah, now we do have an American coach, right? And um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to show you some of his posts. He's absolute workhorse. If you don't know who Rivalry is, then you're soon going to you're soon going to learn about him. Uh, but I think a lot of people do. He's a very prominent figure within the community, very active. But I mean, you can just see here from his coaches only channel, you know, posts throughout the day. He's doing video recaps of his trades. Very, very, very active trader and a very profitable trader at that. As I've said before, there's a difference between an analyst and a trader. And, you know, this team now is evolved around actually being a successful, profitable trader. And you can see from the results of, of the of the coaches, it's just brilliant. But yeah, just to let you know, we do have a new uh, coach here in Rivalry from America. <laughs> Even the legend himself is able to play World of Warcraft while making money trading. I mean, that's just hilarious. I love to see it myself as a gamer. <laughs> but yeah, that's just the first thing to make you aware of. We have a new coach in Rivalry, as you can see from his trading channel. It's just active, but, you know, very, very nice to see. And the second coach that we've added here is Severin, who is from Germany. Uh, this one's a little bit more of a dark horse. Not everybody knows him. He has been in the community a long time, but he's one of these, you know, heads down, keeps quiet and just does well at trading. He's also a full time trader, profitable trader that we've taken on. Similar style. Um, and here you can see, you know, also recording his trades, uploading those trades and showing, um, you know, what he can do in his chart. So you've now got rivalry added from America. We've got Severin added from Germany, two new traders on the books and both of them very nice, full time, successful, profitable traders. So, yeah, just make you aware of that. If you're wondering, we have added two new coaches, two chart champions. And this is a good post that you're more than welcome to just pause the screen <laughs> and I hope you can read it because I'm not going to read it out, but you can just pause and read this post. Uh, but this was a really nice one that was from Rivalry. Uh, I love his personality. He's like this really upbeat kind of guy. But yeah, we, you, you can leave it down in the comments below. Would you like to see more of Rivalry and Severin or maybe on a public introduction YouTube video? If you would, let us know down below and we can make that happen for you. But yeah, this is a good post to pause and read uh, if you can zoom in and, <laughs> and read the text sufficiently enough. But uh, yeah, um, so obviously with that said, I will just do a public quick, um, you know, talk about this. And that is the fact that we have had to uh, let go some, you know, people within Chart Champions, including uh, George is no longer part of Chart Champions and Victor is no longer part of Chart Champions. And I would just say this, um, you know, I don't want to go into all the fine details. All I will say is this, um, you know, everybody that is that we've let go are my friends, okay? So that's the first thing, you know, I, I respect and love these people as, as, you know, from the friends and I honestly love and, you know, appreciate all the work that they've done for Chart Champions, right? You know, George, for example, doing daily updates. Uh, we had Victor with, with the speed runs and, and I just want to say this, I absolutely appreciate and love all the work that they've done. But all I will say, without going into all the real in 
reasons which I don't think is beneficial for anyone to gossip or, or you know, there's no need for me to, to, to do this detail. What I will say is this, is it's a business decision at the end of the day. This was a decision which was difficult to take. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the work and respect the work that they've done. But at the end of the day, it was a business decision which we really believe um, is the best for chart champions. Okay, so it's not easy to let go of staff members, but it is one that we had to take. And um, we really believe that overall, it's a very positive change that we can how have a lot of improvements. You can have coaches that are able to do also now we can focus on live trading you're going to be able to know that the traders and the coaches that you're looking at are profitable themselves uh for me this is just a overall you know difficult decision but a very positive outcome that you can really look forward to uh with the addition of the new coaches and um yeah it's not i'm not trying to downgrade or or, or say anything ever bad about who has gone um, you know, I, I, I love and loved what they've done. I honestly can say that. But I think change is sometimes necessary and healthy for a growing, striving company such as Chart Champions. And the decisions that have been made, obviously Chart Champions is my baby. I'm not going to do anything that is detrimental to the future of Chart Champions. And so it is a difficult, hard decision to have been taken. But it is one with the customer you in mind and the the future of the company, um, I really feel is a change that needed to be done and one that is overall positive uh, for for everybody involved, okay, in terms of the coaches going forwards and, of course, you at the end of the day, our goal at Chart Champions is to make you a successful, profitable trader. So the changes have been done with you in mind <laughs> and the outcome we really do feel is positive and overall net very good going forwards okay um so yeah that's just to let you know that of course now the daily updates we've currently got eagle and myself doing daily updates i'm doing the friday morning update tomorrow i've done a live stream daily update today uh you can see eagle with his daily updates here predicting price action playing out price action uh so it's just you know at, 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 for us the show goes on as normal with continuing with the work as normal uh, it's just, you know, different coaches doing it. All I will say is um, now the daily updates, we're really focusing on getting this to the 15 minute mark. So if you have a full time job, if you have a very busy life, you're going to get the 15 minute daily live stream update with the key levels, exactly what we're looking at next, giving out the trading plans. And well, the trading plans are given and the trading plans are played out very well indeed the, <laughs> when, you, when you recap the next day. Uh, but yeah, just to let you know that the, there's nothing changed from your end. You'll still get the daily updates. You'll still have the Friday morning update. It's just, it's going to be for now from Igor and myself. And, you know, that's just to let you know that. Uh, so yeah, that was mine from today, my daily update. I've obviously got another live stream tomorrow for the Friday morning update. And on top of that, we now have new features such as, you know, still pumping out new content, new strategies, new ideas. Fixed range 2.0 stream given by myself is helping uh, other people's charts looks much better and much more accurate. Of course, it can be tough at times being the founder of Chart Champions, but you're helping myself and many others change our lives. And that's what I always got to remind myself at the end of the day, why we started Chart Champions, what Chart Champions stands for, our goals. And at the end of the day, we are here to help and we are here to help people change their lives by trading. So, you know, sometimes, yes, it is difficult being the founder of Chart Champions and having a great love for Chart Champions. And, you know, that's why it's sometimes difficult to make such decisions, especially when I'm friends with people. But I got to remember at the end of the day, like what this is built for. And it's not, you know, it, it's, it's for the best of you watching this. So, uh, yeah, I'll just say that. And if you want to see the new videos, of course, by myself, you can come over to the courses, come over to the advanced strategies. And yeah, the front run video is out now. The fixed range 2.0 video is out now. So you can start to learn about these new strategies. Swing failure 2.0, you can learn about, you know, the third touch strategies, failed auctions, hedging CTR, all the advanced strategies we've now got to. And of course, even if you are a beginner, right, we still have the apprentice and, you know, the beginner more modules for yourself over on the website. So if you're interested in that, then you can get that over at chartchampions.com. Um, and yeah, that was the quick walkthrough because I'm sure, you know, a lot of people want to know the gossip. A lot of people want to know the exact ins and outs. I'm going to say you know, we're not going to give that to you because there's no benefit in going and, and fueling gossip. All I just let you know is this. The decision has been made. It is one for the best 
of your interests in mind, as well as the interests, of course, of everybody involved at Chart Champions. And um, yeah, that, that, that is that for now. I'm just going to say that. And I hope that you've enjoyed <laughs> the video. Of course, I did say that I'd talk about alts. I might do that in the next video. Leave a comment also then down below of what altcoin you'd like me to look at. And I'll do an altcoin analysis. Because this video is already 15 minutes. And if I do an altcoin, it will end up going on for 25 minutes. So yeah, just say, I'll say that. Leave a comment down below. And the highest voted altcoin, I will also do a recap of for you in the next uh, video. Um, so yeah, for me, that's going to be a wrap up here. Uh, I've let you know my current trades, my biases, uh, the next levels that I'm looking at, uh, how we've got two new coaches in Rivalry and Severin, and you know what's been going on here behind the scenes. At the end of the day, a lot of people will speculate and talk, but nobody really knows uh, you know, what's going on and, and why these decisions were made. And I'll just say this, decisions were hard, but I respect everything that's been done. And for me, it's all about chart champions and the continued growth and you know, prosperity of that. So yeah, I'm just going to say that. Thank you ever so much. For me, this is an exciting time. It's a positive and happy time to look forward to the future and understand what we're building here and, and what's going to continue to be built and hard work to be done. So yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up there and say thank you ever so much. I'll be sure to read all your comments down below. If you've enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button, tap the subscribe and hit the notification bell after. Thank you ever so much. And if you want to see more, you know where to get me over on the website, chartchampions.com. I'm active here every single single day. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And goodbye. Oh, of course, actually, with the legal trade disclaimer to end, no financial advice. <laughs> uh, you got to do your own research at the end of the day. Trades on paper, demo trade accounts. Cheers. Goodbye.